Tensions continue to rise on college campuses over the Israel-Hamas war. Some schools are calling in police to help clear out encampments and remove protesters. Meanwhile, the turmoil is having an impact on some graduation plans. ABC's Phil Lipoff has more. NYU now one of the latest universities where police have been called in to clear out encampments as protests over the Israel-Hamas war continue to grow. I think students historically have brought a lot of change. More than 50 arrests as the NYPD cleared out tents at both NYU and the new school. What? Columbia University's president speaking out for the first time since calling in police after protesters barricaded themselves inside a campus building earlier this week. We tried very hard to resolve the issue of the encampment through dialogue. The university made a sincere and good offer but it was not accepted. At UCLA, police were called in after protests there turned violent earlier this week. This dangerous rhetoric that is viewed in the encampment um, calls for the death of all Zionists. Anti-Zionism is most, defi most definitely anti-Semitism. UCLA announcing all campus activities will resume in full on Monday. All of this as schools are planning for graduations. Ohio State moving forward with commencement. It's just great that OSU is putting us first. That's how it always should be. But some ceremonies have been impacted. After canceling its graduation, USC is now planning a Trojan family graduate celebration at the Los Angeles Coliseum. Meantime, protests at Northwestern, Brown, and Rutgers have ended peacefully. The schools agreeing to review their investment in companies contributing to the war in Gaza if students curb protest activity. Phil Lipoff, ABC News, New York.